what happened was that um, that some people, you know, didn't really like that that prophecy was in in there, and so they took it out and removed it and claimed that everyone else added it. <laughs> I wanted to just uh, point out some of the scientific evidence that I've seen for this. There's a lot to talk about. I mentioned the um, uh, the spear and the blood in the water, but um, because I know one point where a lot of Muslims have questions is whether or not he really died. I think that makes pretty clear that he really died. Um, but the prophecy is another piece of it too. I know that you guys consider um, both the, you know, the Bible to be a holy text. And one of the questions we have is whether or not the, um, the actual text where those prophecies were made were really altered or not. And it turns out that we can actually figure that, that out. And in the case that matters for, uh, for, for these prophecies, I showed you Isaiah 53. This is called the great Isaiah scroll. You can see here. Um, it's, it's, it's a pretty amazing document. Have you heard of it before? Yeah, I've heard, I've heard about Isaiah, not specifically this document, but go ahead, yeah. Yeah, it's part of the Dead Sea Scrolls. So basically there's a guy in Qumran, I think in the 1960s or something, um, a shepherd found um, all these clay pots in a cave. <laughs> turns yeah, out they, I've heard about the Dead Sea Scrolls, yeah. That's what they yeah, mean, so yeah. it turns out there was tons and tons of documents there. And now a lot of them are fragments. What's important about, about the Great Isaiah Scrolls, I mean, it's one of the most complete documents that we have, okay? And there's a really interesting controversy because if you'll notice, if uh, in the, the earlier passage that I showed you over here, it seems to contain a prophecy that he was going to ride. Um, he was going to. He was going to die and rise again. In verse eight, it says he was cut off from the land of the living, and then in verse ten, it says he will see the light of the day after he suffered. Okay, the light of life, and that was really understood to be a statement like of a prophecy of resurrection. Now, the probably how we know it was understood that way is that the Masoretic text, which is what um, what really became the dominant um, text um, in Judaism, really left out the light of life. And they, they claimed that Christians added the light of life after Jesus died um, to basically support, you know, the myth that he really rose from the dead, right? And so that's why this becomes important. We can actually ask, well, what actually did the text say? What actually did the text say, and when is it dated for? It turns out that this Isaiah scroll has that term, you know, that that he'll see the light of day. Um, and that's interesting. So now we can ask, well, maybe, uh, well, 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 what what does this date to? Was this was this after or before? Is after? Maybe we don't really know. But if it was before, then you know that really was part of the text ahead of time, right? And so one of the things that happened is they took this and actually got, um, you know, carbon uh, 14 dating across uh, all of these manuscripts. You can see several different manuscripts here. And I've circled and read that great Isaiah scroll. And you can see over at the top, uh, if you see these up here, these are um, several that have later dates. So there's a few that are to 100 AD. There's one that's like 700 AD. That, that's actually probably one that really doesn't even belong there. They might have just added it in, uh, in part to just, uh, you know, you know, to sell that and, and get more money because it was a scroll that didn't really belong there. And you can kind of mm -hmm. pick that out with the, with the carbon 14 dating. Right. Mm -hmm. What's interesting is that you see here, um, these are the dates that you can get the, the gray boxes are based on the way how it's written. Uh -huh. And like, you know, spelling of words and the particular type of um, handwriting, things like that, they can get a dating off of that. And then the black is, uh, is the dating that they get from, uh, from the carbon 14 dating. Okay. 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 And either way you get a date that is, uh, that is, uh, that's before, um, you know, this line right here, which is, you know, Jesus lives about right here uh, mm -hmm. after zero AD, right. Or mm -hmm. one AD. And then right here, you can see, uh, that, th that we have like clear scientific evidence that, that was actually in the text of scripture. Uh, scripture that I think we both respect, uh, that he would die and rise again a um, hundred years before it actually happens. And so that 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 really, um, you know, explains what, what really happened. What happened was that um, that some people, you know, didn't really like that that prophecy was in, in there. And so they took it out and removed it and claimed that everyone else added it. <laughs> it turns out the, that the opposite is true. And, you know, that's an example of just one piece of really tangible evidence that that uh, that made sense to me about why it is that this is really something worth looking at.